Hello! Allow me to introduce you to one of the exciting new capabilities of Acrobat 10, a very nice integration with Microsoft SharePoint 2007 and 2010 that makes it much easier to work with PDF files stored in document libraries. In the past, if I wanted to work with PDF files that were being stored and managed in a SharePoint document library, I would have had to manually check out, download, upload and check back in those files. Now with Acrobat 10, I can open a PDF file directly by, say, clicking on its name here in my browser. Not only will the file open in Acrobat 10, but Acrobat 10 will also ask me if I wish to check out and open that file too. That way, if others try to access my file in their browser, they will see that it has been checked out to me. So back in Acrobat here, I see that this file is almost ready for publication. But I've noticed a small typo that will need to be fixed. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Edit Document Text Tool from the Content Panel of the Tools pane here. Let's go ahead and click on that and make the change to the phone number here so that the right person gets called with any questions. Now that the PDF file is open from the SharePoint Document Library, I will have access to a SharePoint Server menu command from the File menu. This will allow me to check the file back in, discard my checkout and any changes that I had made, or edit the document properties for this file as specified by the SharePoint Document Library owner. And I can do this right from within Acrobat 10. So I need to go up here and I'm going to change the status to be final. And let's go ahead and set this to be not confidential anymore. Why don't we here, why don't we go ahead and just change the date? We'll click OK. Now that's done, I think we are ready to go and make this available to others. I can return to the file menu and choose the SharePoint server command to check this back in. Or just by closing my file, Acrobat 10 will of course prompt me to save the changes that I have made to it. But then it will ask me if I would like to go ahead and check this document in too so that others can see my changes. I want to say yes of course. And right from inside of Acrobat 10, I can specify versioning information such as choosing the version number. Let's go ahead and change that to version 1 and add any comments. We click OK, the file will close and now become available for others to work with. Back in our web browser in SharePoint, we can go ahead and take a look at this file and the version history and we can see how John was the last one to work with this particular file ready to send out for publishing. And you know what's really exciting about this capability? It's also available from the free Adobe Reader 10 too. And anyone now can, in the organization can work with PDF files that are stored in SharePoint with little fuss. Thanks for watching.